These are the 10 most underrated players. Robert Williams the third. When it comes to yes, becoming an sir. NBA player, Robert Williams has won the genetic lottery, standing Rob at six foot ten underrated. and two hundred and forty pounds, with a pterodactyl now. seven foot five wingspan and 99th nice percentile explosiveness and mobility. Multiple knee injuries and a complete lack of outside shot had Williams slide all the way to the twenty seventh yeah. overall pick in the twenty eighteen NBA draft. To add insult to injury, Williams was also quite unprofessional at times because he was always late to everything. <laughs> the Celtics nicknamed time him Lord. the Time Lord due to his immaturity and lack of offensive game. Robert barely played in his first three seasons. However, in 2022, things completely turned around have for the big. time. Lord. He started playing regularly. <laughs> yeah. He had to play. <laughs> That's really what it was, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we're, banking, we're banking on like a 37-year-old Al Horford to be our center and Daniel Tice, bro. Like, <laughs> Rob, All right, Rob, fuck come it. on, bro. Yeah, fuck <laughs> suit, fuck up, it, bro. bro. suit up. Got a good one, though. My career ass start. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Nah, think about laughs> nah, bro. Real. That's a my career start. Before we go on with the rest of the video, shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props in valid states. And I ain't gonna lie, with the playoffs still going on, I need to make some picks tonight. I've seen a couple of y'all expose the, the picks I made on the last ad read. Yeah, some of them were bad. Listen, man, game five is tonight. I don't think Luka's going out without a fight. Let's pick Luka. Listen, I love Draymond Green, and I, I, I still think he's going to have a good game, but I don't think he's going to meet that seven rebound mark. And I don't know why, you know, the numbers aren't showing it, but I feel like Dorian Finney-Smith is going to have a good game. So, so let's go over, under, over. You know how we do it over here. Scared money don't make no money. Let's put in 40. And let's place an entry, and it is that easy. And thanks to Prize Picks, all of our users that use the code SNS, it is on the screen, will get up to $100 match on their first deposit. So if you put in 50, they'll match 50. So now you have 100 to play with. If you put in 100, now you got 200. Once again, the code is SNS, it is on the screen. Links will be in the description as well. And shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. By positioning him at the dunker spots as the weak side defender, this enables Williams to guard the corner three and switch on to penetrating hey. guards at the rim, similar to what Giannis does for the Bucks. During one possession, Robert can switch everything and cover all five players due to his quickness, size, and enormous wingspan. Time Lord has the best defensive rating in the entire NBA, Dang. and when he's mm. the closest defender, opponents shoot less than 36%. If he didn't get hurt towards Yo, the end of the season, crazy. Williams would be in contention for Defensive Player of the Year. Offensively, Robert is a vastly improved passer, Impl decision yeah, maker, I was and one of the most dangerous later. lob threats in the league. If you didn't know him by now, pay attention, because Williams will become a household name in the NBA. DeJounte Murray. If any NBA all-star can walk yeah, freely on the street right now, without getting did. recognized, it's DeJounte Murray. Okay, oh in San Antonio, <laughs> I'm sure bitch. that people stop Murray and take selfies with him. But when he's on the road, to most people, he's probably just some tall dude with freakishly long arms. Murray uses those arms and his six foot Yo, ten his length is crazy. to lead the Pause. NBA in steals and is. deflections. <laughs> But that's just one side of his game. The Spurs point guard is close to averaging a triple double with 21 points, eight and a half rebounds, and 9.3 assists per game. Without Murray in the lineup, the Spurs offense is so stagnant that it flows slower than the San Antonio Riverwalk. Beyond Murray, we also have to mention Jakob Pertl, the Austrian big man whose name is hard to pronounce, is the Spurs' second best player, and another oh, reason why Jakob the Spurs the are not at the bottom of the standings. He protects the rim as well as any seven-footer not named Rudy Jakob Gobert three? or Joel Embiid. Yeah, I think Jakob. Leading three. the NBA in contested shots. Pertle is extremely efficient around the rim. Yaku, he is second in the NBA in screen assists, making him extremely valuable for the San he Antonio offense. Yo, no cap, bro. The mm -hmm. Spurs have been boring for so long. I don't think they'll ever, yeah. like, remove that. They could have been flashy this year for all we know, but because we just think, like, San Antonio and, and boring basketball, people will never watch DeJounte Murray, even, even though he's not even boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's definitely not. Last year, there was a early in the season stretch where they actually were a fun team to watch but it just went away i was gonna be high on lonnie walker i ain't gonna lie lonnie walker is gonna be my next guy that unfortunately wasn't nearly as good as i thought he'd be i thought lonnie walker was gonna be it like not superstar but definitely perennial all-star i don't know why i just believed in him it's unfortunate truthfully now dejounte is on a nice ass contract for san antonio but they gonna need a lot more than that <laughs> they gonna need a lot more than that to make some noise bro but you right they've been boring for like ever 
Vanderbilt. We would have put Jared Vanderbilt on the thumbnail. Yeah, I agree with this. If only one. people knew who he was. There are four Timberwolves players that grab all the headlines. Their all-star center, Carl Anthony Towns. Their high-flying youngster, Anthony Edwards. The former all-star, D'Angelo Russell. And of course, Patrick Beverly, <laughs> who is the loudest and is constantly trash-talking his opponents. But this mm. leaves one man from Minnesota's starting lineup, largely unnoticed by the general public, and that's Jared. Vando is a fourth-year, six-foot-nine power forward, and he's a Swiss I army was a rookie, who does just about everything for the Wolves. The Wolves play a lot <laughs> of just started getting defense, heavy minutes, based on one-on-one -on -one hard pressing and not allowing your man to get the ball. But Vanderbilt plays a denial defense that Dennis Rodman wouldn't be ashamed of and is among the best ball thieves at his position. Long and athletic, Vando reads the game superbly and is always well positioned. This allows him to play free safety and protect the rim when Cat hedges the pick and roll. Offensively, Vanderbilt yes, does yeah. the same glue guy things that he does on defense. He finishes in transition, he grabs offensive boards, and he cuts to the basket hard. If you watch Minnesota's games, it's impossible not to see his impact because he's all over the floor. Vando is the definition of hustle. His energy is infectious and is a big nah, reason why the Wolves have a winning solid. record in 2022. Herbert Jones, New Orleans like Pelicans, started the 2022 season with three wins and 16 losses, leaving them dead last in the league. But then, the rookie Herb Jones got inserted into the starting lineup, became the unexpected hero, and the Pelicans started winning games. Hey. Jones is a six foot seven wing from Alabama, and in 2021, he won Come SEC on, Defensive like Player of the Year. <laughs> Many doubted that he would be as effective against NBA offenses, and because he was a terrible shooter in college, he slid all the way to the second round of the 2021 draft. Draft. But Herb has proved everybody wrong and is arguably the best defensive rookie in the last decade. Athleticism, mm. basketball IQ, timing, and enjoyment to hustle and terrorize offensive players are all attributes that make Jones a nightmare for the Lord offensive though. players. This is even more impressive <laughs> considering that he guards the best players <laughs> hey, in the league. Hey, meat suck, bro. <laughs> yeah, he had to cut it off because, you know what I'm saying, big Luca, you Lu know what I'm saying. Luca proceeded to pick the ball up and score? Yeah. Crazy? His step back, whoa. <laughs> Come on, bro. Nah, That's big Luca, yeah. bro. Come on, bro. W cut. W footwork. Hey, good D, better O type shit. And things of that nature. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, come on. Things of that nature. Yo, you gotta stop. <laughs> you gotta stop. In matchup difficulty, Herb ranks sixth in the NBA, which is an achievement in itself for a first-year player. Whenever Jones makes a defensive stop, the Pelicans' Jumbotron showcases the message, not on Herb, and he is slowly mm. but surely becoming a fan favorite. That's Jones' shooting arena. and offensive numbers are also exceeding expectations, and New Orleans' point differential goes up by 10 points per 100 possessions when he's on the floor. That's more than what Giannis Antetokounmpo improves the Bucks, and what Joel Embiid say. improves the 76ers, and they are MVP candidates. It might be too early to say, but we'd be surprised if this guy doesn't win the Defensive Player of the Year award in the future. Man, y'all said the same thing about Triple J, bro. Hey, I'm a big Herb fan, but come on, bro. Come on, come on. No, side note, though, like, no. for real, bro, the Pelicans got a squad, and I'm really happy Zion. He just got cleared today to have, like, no restrictions. They got Herb Jones, TJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram. Uh, yeah, Jonas is there, Josh Hart, Laker picks. <laughs> like, they, they, they said, they said, I ain't gonna lie. I was just disgusted and truthfully still am when they move Lonzo Ball away because I thought that was just beautiful connection with Zion but they did a hell of a job while replacing such a drastic loss you got a bunch of isolation scores around Zion truthfully you probably just need that playmaking guy a guy that can supplement for Zo. that's big Jose because Jose's him yeah nah I, I'm excited to see the Pelicans next season bro they damn well should at least be playing level I, I expect them to take the somewhat step like how Minnesota did this year I need to see Zion at the five no cap that's the future right there bro it sound crazy but you try it if you're new orleans why not jalen brunson if he didn't play next to luka Doncic, jalen brunson oh, would average all-star really numbers in good, college though. brunson won two ncaa championships yeah, not anymore. as a steady point guard yeah, far from underrated now well and rarely makes mistakes now in the nba he's still doing all those things averaging a very efficient 16 points four rebounds five assists and just one and a half turnovers but because he plays with luka who leads the nba in usage rate brunson's numbers are scaled down since Jalen was bred as a system player at Villanova, Brunson is the perfect complementary guard to Luka. Due to Luka's brilliance, Brunson will often stay out of the spotlight, but because he doesn't care, and he's a proven Yo, winner. Due to Luka being kind of so great. Due, due to Luka's just 5 million IQ, Brunson, when Luka's not even there, makes the right decision. Crazy. Yeah, no, we need to get this guy on the pod, bro. No cap. Oh, oh, y'all thought I disagreed with him. It's all Luka. What? <laughs> Reggie Bullock shoots the ball well because Luka told him to. Boban 7-6 because Luca told him to get bigger. Mavs center Dwight Powell has to be mentioned here also. 
Powell leads the NBA in offensive rating by a wide margin, and he is thriving as a role player in the Luka centric offense. He... <laughs> no, 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 that's a miss, gang. I guess. Nobody care about Dwight Powell, bro. Dwight Powell, on, hey. bro. He underrated for a reason. His Come segment on, was short as shit too. Yeah, I'm about to say he's still underrated. No cap. Nah, nah. He can stay. He can stay underrated. I, I need more. A lot more. Dwight Powell. Man. Dwight Powell. <laughs> Some players are criticized for being ball hawks, but Avica Zubac okay, is with the more shot. selfish. The Croatian center is sixth in the NBA in true shooting percentage, and in 2021, he led the league in that category. Dang. His soft touch around the you rim and career 75% shooting nah, from the free real. throw line suggests that he should be taking more than just six shots per game. Zubac is also a very good rim protector who positions extremely well and is averaging eight and a half rebounds in just 24 minutes on the floor. If he played on a bad team and had the green light to take more shots, he'd easily average 18 points and 12 rebounds. His hard and unselfish play the... goes unnoticed on those nights, <laughs> but he's playing great. I don't know about that one. If Zubac is your best player, there's there's more problems that we need to talk about, bro. No cap. You're going to be pick 15, too. I bet 15 seed. You're yeah. going to be seed 15. Fuck is 18 and 12. How about that, bro? 18 and 12, man. He ain't even better than Jonas at that point. God damn. Eight. And that's why he's on this list. His teammate Luke Kennard also deserves a mention for shooting 45 percent from three for the season, which right. leads the I NBA. The Desmond Bain. When we're talking about the Memphis Grizzlies, the everybody wants to talk about Ja Morant, and rightfully so. Ja has been brilliant all season, and his acrobatics have provided some of the most spectacular highlights. However, Morant has missed 20 games this season, and the Grizzlies have won 18 of them. That's not a coincidence. Taylor Jenkins' team has been flying on all cylinders even without Morant, a second-year guard who improved his scoring from 9 to 18.2 points per game while keeping the same uber-efficient numbers from last year. He's shooting 43% for three on seven attempts per game, which is the third hey, best mark in the cold, league. Bro. He's also sixth in free throw percentage, and it was somewhat of a surprise that he didn't win the Most Improved Player Award. Gary Trent Jr. Nah, Gary gave Trent him was trophy. rarely mentioned it. when he played next to Lillard and McCollum in Portland. He's now rarely mentioned on the 2022 Toronto Raptors, a well-coached team who is doing everything by committee. Toronto's rookie Scotty Barnes has been receiving most of the praise thanks to his size and ability to guard opponents' best players. Barnes won the Rookie of the Year award this year, which steals the shine away from other Raptors. Pascal he Siaga, made that? That's crazy. Who is having a career year <laughs> in 2022, averaging an efficient 22 points, along with eight and a half rebounds and five assists. He's doing better now than in his all-star year and is hardly getting any credit yeah, for it. Gary Trent Jr. is another true. example of individual performance getting suffocated in team success. A lot of people notice Fred Van Vliet as the star of Toronto's backcourt, but Gary Trent has silently been just as good. Gary averages good. I ain't lie. That's what's on 38% shooting from deep while being top five in the NBA in steals. Terry Rozier. In Boston, team Terry Rozier Rose. earned the nickname oh. Scary Ew. Terry, but even though he had Ew. Oh, scary Terry. Terry could also be scary and efficient, with just 38% right, shooting from the field in his final year in Boston. <laughs> hey, hey, remind that motherfucker. Bro. Remind him. Bro. Come on, bro. Come Terry on. has been averaging 19, 4, and 4 for the past three years, with a much improved efficiency. Before the start of the season, Charlotte extended Rozier. He signed for four more years and $100 million. Hey, yeah, that's... It's a lot of money to pay Terry Rozier, bro. Underrated, but overpaid. <laughs> Except, <it. laughs> Except that one. Whoa. Is Terry Rozier underrated for real? Oh, according to this list, um, according to me, no. Terry's fine. Yeah, I think everybody knows what Terry is. I think everybody knows what Terry is. Gary Trent Jr., maybe. Depends how good you think his defense is, but Terry... Thing, he, should, he should really be like a six man if I'm being honest. And that's not disrespect, yeah. but if Terry Rozier was your starting point guard, you're probably getting done up. Probably getting exposed defensively and you're getting done up. But Terry off the bench? Oh, hell yeah. Probably. You will. It's first hand experience, bro. Oh, yeah. I was just being nice to contrarians. No, Terry, if Terry was your starting point guard on a championship team, that other opposing championship team is looking at him, targeting him all game. Instantly. And even though he's definitely in the shadow of the magical LaMelo Ball and high flying magical. Miles Bridges, Dixon. Scary Terry is consistently delivering his share of points. You don't normally ball. think of them, but there are moments in life that are greatly underrated, like the moment when your food arrives or killing a loud mosquito. What Some other players that you don't normally think of, but have played okay. great in 2022, are Wendell Carter Jr. and his efficient 15 That's and 10 on. season I, in Orlando. I, I, I did not Gordon know where and Monte he was going Morris that, in Denver bro. and Miami's Max <laughs> Strews. Well, yeah, uh, those were some, not all of them. Them, weren't 10 but some underrated players uh click this video if you want to watch something else i don't know editor got it it's me with tso sage you're my brother benjamin take care and stay blessed